Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. This piece of news came out about two days ago, but Hong Kong has actually legalized crypto trading. Now, why is this a big deal? Hong Kong is a part of China. It has been part of China since 1997. I'm not going to argue with you whether Hong Kong is really a part of China because internationally it's recognized as part of China. And even though it is a special economic zone like Macau, um, the thing is like the Chinese communist government has been trying to exert more and more power over Hong Kong. So crypto trading was not legal in Hong Kong, even though I don't really know how this works. There were crypto exchanges in Hong Kong. But could Hong Kong's legalization of crypto trading be a precursor to the Chinese mainland um, legalizing crypto trading? Now, for people's knowledge, you do actually still need a passport check to get into Hong, uh, China from Hong Kong. I had to do it several times when I was actually in the region last time to get from Shenzhen into Hong Kong. It's like going into another country right now. It is technically part of China, but both but Hong Kong and China still have different passports and there's different rules regarding each region. They're not completely autonomous anymore, especially after the crackdowns. And I have not been there since the crackdowns. I went there like four or five years ago. But the thing is like um, Brian Armstrong has actually called on Congress to act fast on crypto regulation before, you know, Hong Kong takes it away. Because if Hong Kong takes it away, that means like a lot of the business is going to China as well. But if China would actually open up their ways to crypto trading, that would obviously spark a big boron. And even if it's a, if it's a special economic zone, Hong Kong opening up is a big step into China opening up. Now, it could go the other way around where the CCP is like, no, you know what, we're not going to legalize crypto trading. But the thing is, for Hong Kong to make this move, they I think they would actually have to have a nod from the central government because the central government is extending its grasp tighter and tighter around Hong Kong. So this could be a uh, precursor to a nod for mainland China to actually um, join the uh, crypto trading frenzy. Now, if mainland China joins, it, it, it will be very much controlled, but even a controlled China will actually pour a lot of money into cryptocurrencies. They might only allow you to invest, let's say, $5,000 a year or 5,000 yuan a year or whatever. But that's 5,000 yuan a year for a lot of people. And I honestly, most people in China don't have more than that in terms of like spare money. Because um, the average salary in China is still lagging behind the US a lot. And even though cost of living is lower there, um, the cost of living versus salary doesn't, isn't nearly as good as the United States back there. So the thing is, like, I'm actually excited about this because this could actually mean that we're about to get uh, way, way better um, in terms of, like, prices if a huge, huge new country is actually let in. Hong Kong is the first step. Let's see what um, moves the CCP makes next. Because remember, uh, ex-Chinese bank officials said, like, China should look at, re-look at their policy, um, about banning cryptos entirely, and maybe they're actually heeding that, and this is a precursor to just letting the floodgates open. So let's hope that's the case. That's the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe, hit that bell notifications button. Thank you, and have a nice day.